Federal regulators call their safety violations egregious, and they ordered a party bus company involved in an accident that killed a young mother off the road. 41 Action News investigator Melissa Yeager joins us now with details in today's report. Melissa? Well, Mark, we reported the company Midnight Express did not have authorization to operate from the Department of Transportation, and now federal regulators call the company's federal safety regulation compliance practically non-existent. Last month, 26-year-old Jamie Frax fell out an emergency exit of the Midnight Express party bus and onto I-35, where at least three cars struck her. Inspectors from the Kansas Highway Patrol found the bus had been modified to where seats blocked four emergency window exits. They also found serious problems with the bus's brakes and exhaust system. Federal regulators also found beyond the company not having authority to operate, drivers were not compliant with federal safety regulations like drug and alcohol tests or limitations on hours on duty. In addition, the company did not carry $5 million in liability insurance required under federal law. Attorneys representing the family of Jamie Frex told us the Frex family is angry and learning more and more about how this company was operating. They want to make sure other companies follow federal safety regulations to keep a similar tragedy from happening again. The attorney representing other passengers on board echoed that statement, saying the report speaks for itself. It's reprehensible that the owners of the bus company would place those young women in what unknowingly appears to be a death trap. It is surprising it has never happened before. The attorney for the owners declined to comment about today's decision. I'm investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.